All right, uh, we got more news to get to right now. President-elect Donald Trump blasting CNN and BuzzFeed for publishing an unverified, unproven, and highly salacious story about him. Disgraceful, disgraceful that the intelligence agencies allowed any information that turned out to be so false and fake out. I think it's a disgrace. And I say that, and I say that. And that's something that Nazi Germany would have done and did do. I think it's pretty sad when intelligence reports get leaked out to the press. I think it's pretty sad. First of all, it's illegal. All right, I want to show you right now an exchange that also happened between a CNN reporter and Donald Trump at that very same press conference. Remember, Donald Trump's going after BuzzFeed, the organization that originally leaked all this unverified, disputed information, and CNN then put it out there as well. Here you go. Attacking no, our, news you. You you our news organization. Not can you give us a chance? You are attacking our news organization. Can you give us a chance to ask a question, sir? Go ahead. Sir, can Quiet. you state, can, Mr. President elect, Go ahead. can you state categorically, Mr. President elect, can you give us a question? You're attacking us. Can you give us a question? Don't be rude. Can you give us a question? Can you, I'm not going to give you a can question. You can you stay categorically? You are fake news. Wow. All right. So this is a president elect's press conference? I mean, can you imagine a reporter ever doing that to President Obama? I mean, there is some kind of decorum, right, that you're supposed to have when you go into a situation like that. The CNN reporter really just egging him on and egging him on and egging him on in a way that just, well, frankly, is not done in a press conference. Joining me right now, Dan Gaynor from the Media Research Center with his thoughts on all of it. Uh, first of all, your thoughts on that reporter there from CNN that just kept going back and going back and going back and interrupting him over and over again. Well, this, this is the press really t going to war with, uh, with you know, President Trump. They, they really want or to... Or CNN going to war with to President him. Trump. Yeah, but, I mean, but you see the support he gets in the press room. It wasn't just CNN. It was, you know, CNN tries its question. Immediately people go after it. Like, you know, that's what they want. They, you've got Brian Stelter on the same network complaining constantly about fake news. Then they roll up this report based in part on what we know to be utterly unverifiable garbage. Yeah. And, you know, yet, oh, well, our, our report's okay. It's BuzzFeed that's wrong. Well, you know, BuzzFeed, you know, we've got to come up with so a So they're trying to, you know, say, all right, well, you know, we it. didn't actually put it out there to begin with, so somehow we're okay because we're just linking to what they have or we're just reporting on what they have and then giving it all to you as well. You know, let's talk about that and let's talk about what BuzzFeed did. You know, where I come from, you, you verify information before you put it out there. You don't just put it out there and basically trade in gossip, which is what essentially BuzzFeed was doing. Gossip, fake news, call it whatever you want. But there's a certain responsibility that you should bring to the table as a journalist. And yeah, sure, you may have an opinion, you may have a viewpoint on things, but at least your information, Dan Gaynor, should be authentic. Well, where you're coming from is the real world of journalism. The Society of Professional Journalists says the same thing. Be truthful. Don't race to put something out there that you that you. Which, by the way, verified. I won an award from them. <laughs> I'm glad you brought up exactly. the Society of Professional yeah. Journalists. But keep, I mean, right? I mean, that's and, and we can talk about things and we can have opinion on things and we can dispute things, but the essence of what we're talking about is based in some kind of fact. You take something that has happened, and you pine on it, but you. You, you don't actually invent stuff. Well, but you know, what BuzzFeed's doing then is they're basing this on what even they called unverified reports. This is a website that's devoted to kitten videos, listicles, and gossip, and we're calling it journalism. It's don't forget, Christians. It's, which princess you know. are you most alike? Oh, yes. Or which Cinderella sandwich, which or, sandwich uh, you tells know, you about your... Beauty. your yeah, which sandwich tells you your inner truth that, you know, that was from today. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, to call, to call this legitimate journalism, this is like calling dog food filet mignon. See, and this makes me a little nervous in this environment that we're in right now where, where information is so readily available and so accessible, and that's all great, right? But when you have so-called journalists, and by the way, Ben Smith, who runs BuzzFeed, put out a statement saying basically this is the future of journalism in 2017. Publishing this document was not easy or simple. He says it reflects how we see the job of reporters in 2017. Well, what kind of job is that? You just get any piece of garbage, you don't verify it, you don't actually make sure that it's true, you don't have both sides, you just stick it up there? 
Remember, this is the same website that just a few weeks ago sabotaged the Gaines couple, tried to destroy their careers. This is a website that openly declares that it's not neutral on a lot of key issues, LGBT issues and others. This is not, you know, but the rest of the media love them. They love to go on BuzzFeed and look up little listicles. You know, this is, if this is where journalism is going, then it's going to be completely in the toilet. I'll tell you one thing. That's not where journalism is going here. Dan, always good to see you. Thank you so much for holding people accountable the way you do.